Move on to question number B2 of this 2025 GCE Science Paper 1, Physics. Figure B2.1 shows a wooden ladder of length 4.5 meters inclined at, an, at a vertical height of 1.5 meters. We can see right this. A ladder is used to pull a 900 suitcase, this suitcase there, okay, by applying a force of 450 newtons. That is a force. So in short, we have a situation like this. If you cannot see properly, this is what we are having. Then we have a, a box here, which is weighing 900 newtons, and the force the effort is 450 newton and that the length of the inclined is one is 4.5 meters and the height of the incline <coughs> is 1.5 meters that's what we have here as an information all right so this is a load as seen by the arrow here let's see what the question are asking us define a simple machine what is a simple machine well there are different definitions but a simple machine is a mechanical device. Don't just say it's a device. It is a mechanical device okay, that makes work easier by, mm -hmm, by changing by changing the magnitude the magnitude or direction of the applied force what do you mean you are going to apply a small effort in trying to overcome a larger load. That's what a simple machine is. It's a mechanical device. When we say mechanical, anytime you hear the word uh, mechanical, what comes to your mind? All right? Meaning there is a path taken by a certain uh, quantity. Now, it's a mechanical device making work easier. It, it can only make work easy by changing the magnitude or the direction of the applied force. Calculate their velocity ratio. All right? You recall that velocity ratio is just the distance moved, uh, distance moved by the effort. You divide by the distance moved by the load so the distance moved by the effort come now which one is the distance we know that this is the effort right that's the effort but is this the distance moved by the effort or it is this one here and which one is the distance moved by the load because the load is going up so which one so this distance here is the distance moved by the load and this distance we are seeing here is a distance moved by the effort she shouldn't get for extreme more exam Meaning we have 4.5 meters over 1.5 meters, which will give us what? 3. It doesn't have units. Some of you would have put 3 meters and you could have got it wrongly. So, voice ratio, velocity ratio, no units. Let's go to work done on the parking case against gravity. You hear gravity. Parking something. Work done against gravity. So, work done against gravity. All right, it will be the force, okay? It will be the mass multiplied by gravity multiplied by the height. It's like potential energy. You hear the work done against gravity, it's just like potential energy. But mg has already been given as the force, which is the, the load itself, 900. And the height is 1.5. So we have 900, you multiply by 1.5 meters. This will give you, it's supposed to be Newton there. Uh -huh. This will give us what? 1,050 mm -hmm. joules. Some of you, even units, you are gone. Or you can say 1, 3, 5, 0, 
newton meter you are still the same stuff calculate the efficiency of the ladder now we can find efficiency in two ways efficiency we can use it in terms of uh, mechanical advantage over the lost ratio we multiply by what 100 so what is our mechanical advantage mechanical advantage is load over effort so let's come to the diagram mechanical advantage is load over effort the load is 900 newtons the effort is there clearly written 450 newton and you can see that this will give us two as the magnitude it doesn't have units so as the uh, mechanical advantage so you put two of the lost ratio is three times what 100 so give you uh 66.6666 like that but physics you leave it to one decimal place so we're going to round off to that meaning we get 66.7 percent the other way you can find this is by saying efficiency so let, let me write or Efficiency is equal to work output, work output over work input, we multiply by 100. So what is our work output? Our work output is a work done against gravity. That you need to get, to get, to get it in your mind. 1, 3, 5, 0 over what about the work input? The work input is the work done due to the effort. The work done due to the what? Effort. So, work input is equal to the force, 450, and the displacement, 4.5. And uh, we will end up having our uh, work as 2025 joules. So, you come and put it here. 2025 joules, you are getting the same, it's the 6.7. So, whichever you prefer could have gone the, the way. In our next revision, we are going to look at B3. And I said, ignore our own classes now so that we can help you revise. In my, personally, I, I go through this, but uh, I make my own questions when it comes to, to revisions. We call them prediction revisions for all grades. You are welcome.